Uh, Lord Toby Judd, good morning. Good morning, sir. Do it through Do it through your megaphone. Good morning, everyone, in St Ives, Cambridge, the own county's Dogger Bank. Okay, come in a bit closer. Good morning, everyone, in St Ives, Huntingdon, Cambridge, the own county's Dogger Bank. <laughs> and, and everywhere else. And the silly olds. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and good morning to. Uh, how, how do you pronounce your name? It's um, it's Harry Adney. So, Harry Adney. Yeah, Harry Adney Bow. Harry Adney Bow. And, yeah. and do, uh, do you like being called Harry Adney or Harry Ann? Do you know what I get called everything? Harriet or Harry? Harry. Harry. Okay, yeah. we'll call you Harry. <laughs> right. And now um, you're the shadow minister for beauty, glamour, and culture. I am. Yes. So I work um, quite close with Lord Toby, and um, he does a lot of charity work. So I go and support him and. Do as much as I can for for their party and support them. Right, that's good. And uh, has this always been your politics, the Monster Raving Looney Party? So I just think they're great. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I think they're <laughs> fabulous. Uh, you've just celebrated 25 years in local politics. What have what have been some of your highlights over the last 25 years, apart from meeting me? Well, apart from meeting you and Harry and uh, lots of people, uh, I've had loads. Everything's been fun. It doesn't seem like 25 years. It's just gone so quickly. Uh, I mean, I've met many people uh, from all the parties and uh, everything's gone absolutely amazing. We've put lots of smiles. I've had such good fun and uh, I'll be carrying on for another 25 years. Your I liked, was life. meeting Margaret Thatcher when I, I stood in uh, Elk David Such, dear David Screaming Lord Such, in uh, 1987 when he stood at the by-election there and uh, we went round with a giant tin opener, inflatable tin opener, trying to uh, to open up the, the Iron Lady and... Uh, that was a, a, a great day, and uh, she, she was there at the count, but unfortunately no one could actually get to her or speak to her. But uh, Mr. Such, knowing the ropes as he does and the master of public, he managed to grab her backstage and Dennis, and uh, Dennis came up to us and said, you know, you're running a very good campaign, adding a bit of colour. And uh, it, uh, Margaret Thatcher, he grabbed her and said, you know, you, you're doing very well, and they had a little chat. And uh, she said, oh, that's marvellous, that stuff you're wearing, that Lurex leopard skin stuff. <laughs> she said, he's t- and he, quick as anything, turned around and said, well, you know, you should put some of your ministers in it and brighten up the House of Col- Commons. And she stormed off. But Dennis <laughs> was a nice chap, and, uh, you know, we had a drink backstage afterwards, and uh, that was very good. Also, standing against Michael Howard, he was a nice... Nice chap in Folkestone in, in two, uh, 2005 when I contested the uh, general election in his uh, constituency of Folkestone and uh, we had a little drink and everything and uh, it was a bit unsettling. I must admit I was in the toilet uh, in this uh, bar restaurant and I, I, I was doing a, a, a wee as, they, as you do because I'm quite capable <laughs> and uh, I looked around and Michael Howard was standing next to me and uh, you know you can't help but look. And I looked, and I can honestly say he does swing to the right. Yes. Remember, this is a family programme. Of course. Yes. <laughs> let, let, let's have a chat to Harry Adney. Uh, to Harry, what made you join the Monster Raving Looney Party? Um, not just because they've got great manifestos, but um, he puts a smile on everybody's face. I mean, just being near him, you're always laughing, and he's hilarious. Um, he's the greatest politician about. And um, the, only, the only honest one around. I admit I'm loony. The others don't. And not just that, but the charity work. That's something that I really, really was so shocked about. I looked into all the work that he does, and he does so much good work for charity and um, everything like that. It just was something that really drew me to it. Firstly, how did you meet Harry? And when did you rear two questions? And when did you realise that she'd make a good shadow minister for beauty, glamour, and culture? Uh, well, we met through social networking and, uh, you know, I'd seen Harry and she'd seen me and uh, we just got together through mutual friends via that, Twitter and Facebook and uh, we, we we sort of got together and, uh, you know, I looked at her and uh, Googled her and saw that she's uh, obviously a beautiful, glamorous and very intelligent young lady and, uh, you know, she does a lot of good stuff for charity herself and... Uh, we got together and uh, I invited her to become Minister for Beauty and Glamour and Culture and it's gone on from there and uh, yes, we're getting a lot of press and media interest and uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, once once Harry's uh, got more involved in the party, we're hoping that she will perhaps stand for us uh, at a council by-election or even the next general election up in Wiltonsea. So we will wait and see. 
Okay, and, and Harry Adney, if if you if you won an election. I mean, would would you actually take up the role and, and be a a local councillor or maybe an MP? Oh yeah, I'd be proud to, a hundred percent. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, you're probably better known uh, as the face of the Sugar Hut uh, from The Only Way Is Essex. <laughs> now, now I, I don't I don't watch that. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you do there? Yeah, um, the Sugar Hut is um, the top nightclub in Essex, um, and it features on the Only Way Is Essex the program. Um, however, it's not really my work isn't related to the program. It's just for the club. So I work alongside Mickey Norcross and people like that, and do promotional events for the club. Um, I'm on their leaflets and things like that. So it's a lot of promotional work. But right. yeah. And, and is it true about Essex girls? Are, are they all blonde and a bit dumb? They're not all blondes. No, everyone asks that. No, they're not blondes, and they're certainly not dumb. Um, no, we. I think a typical Essex girl is very done up. Very, um, they have their hair done, their nails done, but not not blonde. They don't have to be blonde. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, Lord, Lord Toby Jug, what actually? Um, what, what, no, what, I'm not an Essex girl. <laughs> no, no, he hasn't got the white hills. <laughs> no, <laughs> but what what uh, what actual qualities make uh, Harry uh, right for the uh, shadow minister for, be- for beauty, glamour, and culture? Well, I mean, you've only got to see that she's got charisma and, uh, you know, she knows what she's talking about. She's very humorous. I've, I've seen her being interviewed many times and, you know, she comes across well. She's got the personality that uh, the party's looking for. And uh, obviously, you know, she's, uh, you know, she's going to attract a lot of votes. Well, what, what, what do you think we could do to, to make the country a bit more happy? To make it more happy? Yeah. Well, you know, it should be compulsory that everyone smiles once a day. And becomes a member of the Looney Party. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and you've only got to look at, uh, you know, to do that, to smile and laugh every day. You've only got to look at uh, the Parliament programme or, or, or any of the politicians <laughs> at uh, the, uh, the, uh, the amount of hot air and uh, the rubbish they speak. And, you know, I crack up and I'm on the floor laughing like a tortoise upturned with my feet up. I laugh so much. So, yes, that's what I recommend. Everyone should smile <laughs> once a day. And uh, watch your local politicians like I do, and I, as I say, it's the best comedy you'll ever get. Do you, I mean, <laughs> seriously, do, do you think... I am being serious. Yeah, I, I know you are. But <laughs> do, do, I'm seriously loony. Do, do, do you think that some of our, our politicians are seriously loony? Without a doubt. We are the only party in the world that actually admits to being loony. When I spoke to you at the recent um, St Ives by-election... You said that you wanted to build a UFO landing strip on Hull Island in St Ives. Now, That's correct, yes. You, you can't be serious. Of course I'm serious. I see loads of them. I've seen hundreds of them since I've moved to St Ives. I was abducted by aliens. <laughs> when I lived in London, many times they returned me uh, safely, thank God. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I've not, I've not been abducted by aliens uh, since I've, I've been open to, but I've not been actually abducted since I since I moved to St Ives, but I often see them come, but they've got nowhere to land. So, you know, if we build a, a, a UFO light landing pad um, on Old Ireland, which is a, a nature reserve, obviously it will, you know, it will be there for them to land. They can come and speak to us, and, uh, you know, they can abduct me any time they want. OK, now, um, do you mainly see these UFOs when you are coming out the pub at night? Uh, mm-hmm. Possibly, yes. I, I'm wrong. I, I don't. I, after about fifteen pints, yes. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, no, I don't actually drink. So no, I, I'm a teetotal. So no, it's not an illusion. Okay. Why do you think you were so successful at the St Ives by-election? Oh, because obviously people sat back and realised that uh, I was the most sensible candidate. And uh, rather than go out and vote just, uh, you know, for the other parties uh, without even thinking, I mean, let's be honest, you could put a, a blue rosette on a, on a lamppost or, uh, you know, you could put a squirrel there with a blue rosette and uh, people don't think and they'd vote for them. So people that actually do go out and vote for me actually think. And it's those people, you know, that I, I like to vote for me because they actually, you know, they're the most intelligent people that vote because but they actually do think and don't vote. They, they think outside the system. You know, Harry. Yeah. What do you do as a day job? Um, I don't. I am. Um, I'm a full time model, so um, I'm the face of nearly fifteen companies now, um, right. going worldwide. Face on magazine, um, and I'm going to Milan with them soon. So it's quite a busy career, but I still have time for the Looney Party uh, and, and some cha- and some, and some charity <laughs> work. Um, d- tell us a little bit to, about the charity work you're doing at the minute. Um, I'm currently the face of um, Detect and Protect Breast Cancer Awareness um, at the moment. 
and um, I do a lot of things with those. I like to do a lot of events. Um, I work closely with HMH Couture, who supports breast cancer as well. So um, that that's a charity that's quite close to me. And um, I do a lot of fashion shows for them, etc. But um, I'd love to like bring the loony party in with that as well, to be honest. Yes, yes, we're we're always happy to come aboard, Harry. And okay, uh, Lord, Lord Toby Jug, but we we got some very very serious um, financial problems in this country at the moment. If you were elected to Parliament, what would you do to help? How would you get us out of the mess that we're in? Well, you know, we'd put everyone back to full employment by you know making them make these giant rosettes of ours you know that would get thousands and millions back to work as i've said to you before we would actually pay off the national debt with credit cards that would boost the economy uh, and get everyone back on the country back onto its feet and you know we're the only political party that actually gives the voters money i actually give everyone an official monster Revenue party million pound note uh, to everyone who votes for us uh, and that which we will honour those notes once we're elected as the next government we've made uh, so many people millionaires all we've got to do now is get get elected uh, I actually own most of St Ives so <laughs> I've given everyone a million pound note and once elected I will own every single pub every single club every shop uh, everyone it's, it will be known as Lord Toby Jug's town because as I say I own it practically Sounds I just like got to win the election mafia. yes the loony <laughs> mafia we will be running it instead of the Tory mafia it will be the loony <laughs> mafia I think I was going to ask you I did ask you this question a while ago but um, when I go in the 99p shop I get a penny change when I go and buy something in uh, Thornton's it's 2 99 and when I go and buy a coffee it's one ninety nine. I've got a pocket full of 1p pieces yes what would the Monster Raving Looney Party do about that well all the one pence pieces you can donate to Harry's Chadnick charity oh. uh, and obviously our policy of introducing uh, the 99 pence coin uh, will, will save <laughs> everyone uh, the, the waste all this change in your pockets and sorting out one but it's ridiculous so yes our long long time policy has been to introduce a 99 pence coin which makes sense yeah that's good i think that is good yeah it's a very very good idea uh, but uh lord toby jug uh, you you are, are you seriously going to stand as our police commissioner yes yes i was asked by many people uh if i would con- uh, ask uh, you know if i would stand and uh we sat and spoke about it and uh yes uh, i i will be going for it william hill's a uh, uh, behind the campaign and uh, yes I think I would do uh, an excellent job I mean I used to drink with all the top villains in East London <laughs> and uh, you know I know more about crime than most of the people going for it I mean most of the people that uh, uh, are going for it are career politicians who you know got no experience of life anyway you know wouldn't know a criminal if they if they bumped into them but uh, you know I get out and meet the people and as I say I spent 20 30 years in London and uh, East London, Stratford. Sitting and in the blind beggar with a craze. Yes, well, no, I didn't. I didn't. That was before. I'm not that old. No. But uh, I, I uh, yes, so I know more about crime than they would. I mean, I, 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 most of them, as I say, are just out of university or whatever and in, in their grey suits and they're just nondescript candidates. Well, in, in the late 60s, uh, I actually worked uh, two shops up from the blind beggar. Oh, really? For a couple of years. Yes, yeah. I know the area. Yes, yeah. mm. yes. But it was a, a electrical shop called Robinson's that used to be quite big up there. Did they have electric then? They did then <laughs> in those days. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Did you uh, go in the blind beggar? Yeah. Did yeah, you? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to go in there. Yes. Yeah, really weird. <laughs> Listen, um, if you, or, or shall I say, when you're elected as the police commissioner, um, what are your policies going to be? Well, to triple the police force, I mean, we'd get all the police to say hello, hello, hello. That'll instantly triple it. You're supporting a, a local charity event coming up uh, shortly. Well, whereabouts is that going to be? Yes, we both are. Um, it's with Lord Toby. Um, it's on the 11th of um, August in St Ives. Yes, and it's a, 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 a children's cancer charity, which... Uh, yeah, it's um, Neuroblastoma. That's how uh, you yes. announce it. It's next Saturday in St Ives, uh, and uh, everyone's welcome. There's a, a page on Facebook for it, uh, and uh, you know there's lots of things that's going to ha- be happening. Anyone who's you know got any donations for prizes, just get in contact, and uh, we'll be grateful to take them and raffle them on the day. Uh, and where, whereabouts in St Ives is that going to be? Uh, as I say, I don't actually know the. I've got it all on Facebook. There's a, uh, yeah. the actual, but it's, uh, there's a lot it's, of information on Facebook. Yeah. I don't okay. actually have it to hand at the moment. Right, right. but producer's just going to go and have a quick look. Yeah. Right. Um, Would I just be able to um, just mention and send my love and best wishes to um, seven-year-old Mitchell Hoof, who's um, actually fighting it now, 
Um, he's a brave little boy and he's like really fighting for his life. So yes. just wanted to send Always. my love out to him. Yes, we'll do that. Yes.